Good luck, my friend. Bienvenidos a Laguna de Apoyo aquí en Nicaragua. Welcome to Laguna de Apoyo here in Nicaragua, where I'm going to show you some of the highlights from our few days here in this beautiful country before we head back home on Aero Mexico business class. Our time in Nicaragua begins here at Laguna de Apoyo. We're going to check out the Masaya volcano with the free flowing lava, followed by the cities of Granada and then Leon in the country's north. From Leon, we'll also check out Cerro Negro, where we're going to go volcano boarding. And then it's back to the capital, Managua, to catch an Aero Mexico business class flight to Mexico City and then San Francisco before flying back to Vancouver with Air Canada. Now the first stop on this trip, Masaya Volcano at sundown to see the lava in the flesh. This is an active volcano and I gotta say, it was surreal and awe-inspiring to see the fire emanating from the earth. As the night grew dark, the sight of the lava only seemed to grow more mystical. Now, Nicaragua is known as the land of lakes and volcanoes, so we thought it'd be a great idea to base ourselves here at Laguna de Apoyo, a former volcano turned into a crater lake following its eruption. We went for some tubing in the lake, enjoyed some local food for breakfast and lunch, and hung out with the Airbnb hosts, as well as their cute little dog, Sofia. Hi, Sofia. After a relaxing day by the lagoon, it was time to head to the city of Granada to check out one of Nicaragua's most popular tourist cities. We stopped by the popular garden cafe in the morning before making our way to the top of Iglesia La Merced, a church with awesome views of the entire city and of course the surrounding lakes and volcanoes too. We tried the local specialty of bigoron for lunch. Deep fried pork rinds with mashed cassava and pickled cabbage. I can't say it was my favorite, but it was worth a try. And in the afternoon, we made the two hour drive over to Leon for the adventure the next morning. Cerro Negro, or Black Hill in English, is home to one of Nicaragua's most popular activities, volcano boarding. You hike up the side of this ash black volcano for about 40 minutes to an hour in the sweltering heat, and then it's time to slide all the way down on nothing more than a wooden board. All the while, you can see and feel the steam from the lava flowing just three kilometers below the ground. It's gonna be insane. And when you touch the soil, you can feel the warmth from the natural volcanic activity. Uh, <laughs> let's go, I guess. Okay. Good luck, my friend. In Spanish, buena suerte. Buena suerte. Okay. Suffice to say, I had a hard time staying balanced at first. All right, fell off the board and we're in the thick of it now, so there's no going back all the way down. And as I tried to stay balanced with my feet on both sides, I took my fair share of scrapes and tumbles. I didn't pull fast <laughs> Eventually, the guide said to just put my feet on the board and go all the way down. So that's what I did. <laughs> Before eventually making a smooth landing at the base of the hill. Oh, 
Well, that was quite an adventure. Oh, I gotta say. <sighs> really tried to get the speed up, took a few rough tumbles, and then towards the end, the guy was like, try to just put your feet on the board, forget about the braking on the side, and then whew, zoomed all the way down the mountain, but I still took a big rough tumble at the end. <sighs> It's actually quite dangerous, I think, but I feel like I'm fine. Just a little bit shaken up, got volcanic rocks all over my body. If you ever get the chance to go volcano boarding in Nicaragua, I'd highly recommend it. We spent the rest of the day exploring the city of Leon, which is Nicaragua's second largest city. Now, just like over in Granada, you can go up to the top of the Leon Cathedral for some sweeping views overlooking the city and its surrounding area. We enjoyed some more street food, this time a dish known as bau, which is simple Nicaraguan beef and plantains and yuca cooked in banana leaves. Again, not my absolute favorite, but I'm glad I tried it. We've just wrapped up our day in Leon and we're heading back tomorrow. So now it's time to do these Switch Health RT Lamp COVID tests to make sure we can get on the flight back to Canada. The Switch Health Lamp test consists of a test unit that you have to put the batteries into. And then you put a QR code onto the test unit Scan the QR code to let Switch Health know which test unit you have. After that, it's just about linking up with a Switch Health professional over video, swabbing your own nostrils for 15 seconds each, swirling that in the little test tube, and then putting it into the test device and waiting about 30 minutes for a result. We uploaded our negative results, and our tests were done right then and there. After an enjoyable and eye-opening few days in Nicaragua, it was time to fly home with Aeromexico in business class. First, we had a flight on an Embraer 190 over to Mexico City, where we'd have a long layover in the capital. The St. Regis treated us to some complimentary drinks and snacks because they didn't have our suite ready for our arrival. But it was worth the wait because the luxury suite that we had upgraded to was spacious and sophisticated with a separate living, working, and dining area in addition to the master bedroom. And the very polished master bathroom with marble finishes. It was a short but welcome touch of luxury at the end of a trip that was at times rather spartan. We've got one night here in Mexico City and I decided to book the St. Regis just to have a little bit of luxury at the end of our trip. Now we did have to wait quite a while for this room to be ready, but we did get the luxury suite. I used my sweet night awards to get this upgrade. And because we had to wait so long, they comped us a few glasses of champagne. After heading out for some delicious Mexico City tacos and indulging in the St. Regis Butler service at night, it was an early start in the morning at the Centurion Lounge in Mexico City Airport, followed by our five-hour flight to San Francisco. While the Aeromexico business class experience was not much to write home about, the pancakes on the plane were fairly delicious. Alright, so we've made it back home safely and I thought I'd finish off the video with a few words on how the whole testing process went as we were making our return journey back to Canada, especially with the Switch Health RT lamp test that we self-administered. Now those Switch Health tests are obviously authorized by Health Canada for re-entering the country in lieu of your regular PCR test that you do in a foreign country, which was very convenient for us when we were in Leon, Nicaragua, because the only PCR test lab in Nicaragua is actually in the capital. 
However, we did run into a bit of a hiccup when we were boarding our flights with Aeromexico on route to San Francisco. Because we were on two separate reservations, the Aeromexico representative never seen this test before, and so they were a little bit uncertain whether the US would actually allow for these tests in order to let us into San Francisco before boarding our last flight to Vancouver. The Aeromexico staff in Nicaragua at first said no, we could not board our flights, which was a little bit of panic for us, but eventually he said, yes, we can board our flight to Mexico City and then we just have to verify there if we can then board to San Francisco. And the next day I had a hunch, I had a feeling that we would be okay, we'd be allowed to board. And indeed that's what happened when we showed up at Mexico City Airport. But there was a little bit of uncertainty as we were trying to board our initial flights en route to the United States. So it is something to be aware of if you're using these self-administered test kits in order to travel back to Canada through a third country. But from there, it was pretty smooth sailing. We made it back to Vancouver with our Switch Health test, with our proof of vaccination. And that wraps up our Central America trip to El Salvador and Nicaragua. I hope you enjoyed following along. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Just click the subscribe button below the video and I'll see you in the next one. de una tablet electrónica en modo bueno.